Hi, in this video I'll show you how to remove people from photographs using GIMP. I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to do it. This can be useful in many cases. For the example here for the tutorial I'll be using this image with these buildings and we have a guy here in front of the building. Let's say we want to remove him without ruining the image. Before I start, just a few words to my subscribers. Probably a lot of you have noticed that I haven't been very active in the past year and less and less lately. Two reasons. First, I was busy with work and also my PC is very outdated and slow. So it's become very difficult to make tutorials. It takes hours sometimes to make a video and uh, some things I just can't show because of my slow computer. So I'm trying to raise some money to buy a powerful enough computer to make tutorials on Blender. If you want to help you can visit the first link in the about section of video to my pledgy campaign where you can read a little bit about the campaign and then if you can and if you want to you can donate. So far $160 has been raised and I want to thank everybody who has donated. You have been very supportive and I really appreciate this and I'll still be making videos now that I have more free time. So let's get back to this one. I'll be using a plugin called Heal Selection, which is one of the most useful plugins for GIMP out there. And if you don't have the plugin, go ahead and Google GIMP Heal Selection or GIMP Resynthesizer plugin and you should be able to find it and install it. Once you have the plugin installed, all you need to do is select the object that you want to remove. In this case, this is a person so let's grab the free select tool. I'm going to zoom in holding down the control key and turning the mouse wheel forward. Then with the free select tool selected, I'm going to make a selection. Then I go to filters, enhance and choose heal selection. Here we have only one option, radius to take textures from. The default value is 50, I'm going to leave this on 50, then click OK. Once the filter is applied, you can see that we didn't get the result we were hoping for. All we need to do now is hit Ctrl Z to undo. Then go to Filters, click on Repeat Heal Selection. We also have a keyboard shortcut for that, Ctrl F. And you see that we get another result, again, not the result we were hoping for. The interesting thing here is that we used the filter on the same image with the same selection, with the same value of 50 and we get a different result. This means that the plugin is giving us in a way uh, a random result, but it's still a very useful plugin. Now, in this case, we have a very complicated issue here. The person is standing in front of a brick wall, uh, some plants here, and this is making it difficult to remove him and get the desired result. So I'm going to be using Control Z to undo and then Control F to apply the plugin again until I get something that uh, is satisfying. So let's do that. And again, we don't have a good result here, so let's try again. Control Z, then Control F to apply the plugin. Control Z again, Control F to apply the heel selection filter. Again, I'm going to repeat this. And again, we fail. I'm going to try to make another selection, see if that helps. Control F to apply, nothing. Let's try again. Now we have something to work with. I'm going to try to select this part, apply the filter with Control F, Control Shift A to deselect, then select this part, Control F to apply the filter, select this part, Control F, Control Shift A to deselect. And I'm going to make one more selection here. Control F to apply the filter. Control Shift A to deselect. And I think we have a pretty good result. We have removed the guy from the image and we have managed to restore the background 
and if I was looking at this image for the first time I'll probably never guess that there was a person here so pretty good result overall I hope this video was useful if it was like it leave me a comment if you're new to my tutorials visit my channel for more and subscribe for upcoming videos so that's it for now bye